Oh, bugger. Right. My OBS was lighting up. I, I had not realised. But yes, good morning. Um, I'm going to try and remember what I was saying. Um, so... Yeah, um, hello, we are live, allegedly. You know, that all that jazz that I normally say. Uh, thank you to Karma last night for the donation. I don't, uh, Stu doesn't have any of my Streamlab stuff up when he's doing the D&D stuff. So I hadn't seen it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for that. I used to get a bean and sausage bake from Greg's, because, uh, it's, it's a good time. Um, also got some sausage rolls, but that's, uh, neither here nor there. Um, right. I'll try and remember what I'm saying again with this. So, a few weeks ago, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I should start a new multi uh, single player world. Because my last one, I tried to go for the never too quickly, and I wasn't re prepared for it. So I was like, right, I'll just go on, and uh, I won't do anything on the world. I'll just go and find a nice place to build a house, and then I'll start the stream there rather than, you know, trundling around for ages before I actually get on with anything. So I did that, and then I was like, ooh, you know. There's all these trees here. If I move these trees out of the way, I'll have somewhere to build a house. So I did that, and then, uh, um, you know, I was like, I could just get a villager from uh, over in the village. Just, you know, boat them over here, and then, you know, I can have someone who will, like, run my farm for me. Yeah, I mean, you know, that'd be useful. And then it just kind of esque spiraled until I'm in the nether. I've got a little pole room built. I'm currently digging down to the place where I can get ancient debris and all that, so, uh, yeah. Um, fresh, fresh server, nothing been done to it. So yeah, I'm currently just going to sit here for a little while again, as, uh... Bleh. Compost is rather hard to come by in the nether, so I've been growing trees. Now, in theory, I could double my arable land by combining it with gravel and putting another one of these trees up, because the disadvantage of all the nether wood is you can't use the new nether wood for making charcoal. So I've got to duplicate it with campfires if you bring any with you. Um, as the You can still make campfires out of the nether logs, you just can't... Um, morning, Ash. You just can't... Uh, directly make charcoal. So, if you want torches, which you don't really need in the nether, but it helps, then uh, you need to find a way of, you know, synthesizing them, essentially. So, that's another tree's worth of wood available. Uh, so, one of the things I'm kind of I guess less of a fan of is possibly the right way of putting it. Possibly not. Who knows? I'll find out, I guess. Um, what am I doing? Lava buckets, yes. Some of the things I'm kind of... I'm hoping they change it in one of the, like, 16 point somethings. But at the moment, the nylium, it's the mushroom grass, doesn't spread. So I was hoping, it's like, oh, if I do this, you know, it'll spread all around the thing, or it'll spread back into the middle. It doesn't, so you need an absolute huge amount of bone meal, especially when, when you do that, it doesn't always grow. Uh, they also don't appear to grow randomly, so that's inconvenient. Right, there's a bunch of passages down, but at the moment, my current project is... I stopped doing this last night when I started getting sleepy because I was like, I'm going to fall in. That's not going to be good. Lava pond. Uh, so. Well, that's all my buckets used up. But so There's a little pocket in this corner and I could probably get around it, but it is inconveniently placed as I want to have a nice big pit, so eventually I can get some slime from the overworld and just, you know, have a mine shaft that I can drop down into. In theory I could use ladders, but I can't have a pond, so, you know, don't want to don't wanna fall and break all of my everythings. Uh, I guess I can make more charcoal, as I've got all this wood. 
later though. Uh, so, my little portal room, it is, let me just go outside so you can see it. It's got black stone pillars, which is the never stone, the, it's quite nice uh, actually. It's got lots and lots of variations and none of it needs cooking, which is quite good. Because obviously, why would you need to cook never stone? It's in the nether. I've then got the uh, warped fungus, no, no, the crimson fungus blocks. What are they called? Never, never warp blocks? Never warp blocks, yeah. So never warp blocks, they were originally the frame just because I needed something, but never warp is susceptible to ghasts. So I've had huge chunks blown off this already. Uh, I've got some more never stone, so I could build the whole frame, but I want to use the uh, not the crimson, the warped fungus to make the edges of my roof, kind of like in my overworld. But I need to find it for that, because I've spawned in... Well, that's the pole, I've not moved it. And over there you can see crimson forest bits. It's more over there. I've been mining this for blocks. As I kind of... I want to build some houses out of the... out of the never blocks. But yeah, so this is a... If I'm careful, let's knock off the next to lowest blocks. Uh, so in theory, I could just replant this and kind of, um, kind of like people used to do with kelp farms. Although to fair, I saw a, I think it was logical geek boy had a um, ridiculous amounts an hour kelp farm. But basically, if you feed bone meal to kelp, it grows one block. Make sure I've got my gold boots on if I'm around the piglins. So, um, yeah, so if you feed it one, it grows one. So he's got a machine that goes, feeds one, feeds one, feeds one. And he's got a hopper clock attached to it, so when it reaches the top of the tank, it fires the pistons, and then it keeps doing it, and then it's basically as fast as the hoppers will work to uh, supply it with uh, that. So my plan will be later, when I've got some more blocks cooked up ready, is I'm going to go and build the exact same building in the overworld. Um, so I'm going to have to do a bit more finishing off before I do that. So that same building in the overworld, so I, you teleport from one place to the same place, but the outside terrain is different. Um, yeah, this looks kind of untidy in here. And yeah, I'm not playing on my other channel, mainly because I kind of realised after I got everything set up that I'd set it up on the wrong channel and was like, eh, I'm not going to put as much effort in today, so I'm not going to be as, shall we say, child appropriate. So if you're a small person who is watching this, bear in mind that you uh, should not do as I uh, do as I say, but do as I don't do. Um, I think that's coherent. Um, no, basically, I'm I'm just going to be a bit of a mess for the next, like, few weeks, probably, as I have some kind of ill. Not sure if it's just, like, some kind of long-term exhaustion from having walked, like, 10 or 12 miles while sleep-deprived, but, uh, we'll find out, I guess. Um, or if it's some kind of pestilence I've acquired in the capital. But either way, it's uh, it's not a you know, it's not optimal. Now I'm thinking I could just go and get more buckets. That could be useful. Um. But yeah, some slime blocks at the bottom of this will make it much more pleasant. As so, uh, well, you can't have water down here, and the uh, the magma slimes don't drop. You know. Squishy slime blocks. Oh, that's, that was it. Hey. Alright, watch as I fall into more lava now. Yeah. Uh, the disadvantage of Neverack is there's so much of it um, that I'm just using stone picks because my. Uh, my diamond pick? I haven't got a mending villager yet. So, being cautious, and I've saved my silk touch pick for the same purpose. Now, I could go back to the other world to just get a bunch of iron, but 
Eh, I can get stone here. I can get trees here. It'll be fine. Now, one thing that I have discovered that even if you are wearing the shiny gold boots or, you know, any other piece of gold equipment, well, I think it has to be armor, but gold armor, uh, the piglins will still attack you if you mine gold or open chests in their presence, including your own chests. Same with shulker boxes and ender chests. So that's why my little compound has a wall, um, and it's not outside. Because I don't want to. That was clever, wasn't it? Don't don't dig straight down in the Nether. That's that's how you fall into a like one by one lava block and then burn to death. Uh, because I don't have anything fire resistant on my armor either. Because I am not very ready. So I need to go down two more blocks. I think. I think it's fifteen. I think fifteen's the block the height for uh, what's it called um, ancient debris. I've already gone through a pickaxe, wow. Uh, I think it's 15? I think it's most common at 15. Like, diamonds are most common about 11? I'm honestly not sure at this point. Why did I dig all that down? Um... Uh, I think if I go at 15, I can then, uh, what's it called, um, if I dig at 15, it's just at floor level, and then I can go another layer down at some point, if I don't find stuff, because in theory there is two deposits per chunk of ancient debris, I think that was what I saw when I was looking into it. As I wanted to be, you know, resembling competent for this stream. I kind of tempted to stream last night quite late, but I was like, mm, nah. So, spiral pit. And now I guess uh, let's go north. So I've got my diamond pick for if I actually find any. I am at 15 height, so it'll either be in the floor, or the walls, or in the ceiling. I'm going to use random torch placement just because it's the never. It doesn't really have a problem with spawning stuff. Okay. That's that's cool, I guess. Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. This this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how much I need for making a Neverite pickaxe, because you need a Neverite bar per tool. One thing I want to do at some point is get some, not the weeping vines, the green ones growing out the floor, so I can just, you know, ascend. Um, although I might do a checkerboard of green and red ones. Not too sure. Right, uh, don't care what's cooking right now. Can I help you? Da -na -na -na. So, what is the recipe? So, I just need four gold ingots. And four neverite scrap to make each one. So I'm going to need lots. I 
kind of feel like I should go and get more buckets. Um, okay, we'll do a combo. Get more of those. I guess we'll get a new axe. Spare shovel. Replacement hoe. Right then. So I need three more to make a diamond tool upgrade for my axe. And then I'm going to need... Uh, how many? So making a neverite armor would be 16. Uh, my standard toolkit is two pickaxes. That takes up to 24. An uh, axe takes up to 28. A sword takes up to 32. A shovel takes it up to 36. And if I go for a neverite hoe, 40. For one set. Well, 39 to go. Oh, cool. And more uh, blackstone. Currently don't really need blackstone, but I'm gonna... Now I'm concerned because gravel has a habit of being near lava. Oh, I'm glad I made a new shovel. That time you got to see Skog just suddenly catch fire. Uh, I hope the new thumbnail was uh, an improvement on the previous one. I say, cause not the previous one's bad, you know, Ash did a lovely job of it, it's just very, very generic. So I went into one of my creative worlds, because I've now started doing that. Because uh, when the SFO server crashed, um, so the SFO server storyline, I might as well tell you about this. Um, so, in the land of Canada, there lives a man called Short Farataku. Um, he had a Minecraft server, which you may have seen me playing on. In fact, one of my last streams on here of Minecraft was me doing stuff in my town there. And in the town there, we had the fun of... Uh, you know, loads of stuff to do, loads of resources stockpiled, could have done anything we wanted. Which is why we mostly just dug. Um, Dom was very enthusiastic on this. And then, 1.16 got updated to the server, because it was on auto-update. At which point one of the mods was like, ah, shit, we should probably wind that back or it'll break the plugins. So they wound it back. But, that, for whatever reason, corrupted a whole heap of chunks. And that meant that, uh... For example, you know that massive spawn city at one point I spent about two hours wandering around, like, showing people? Yeah, that was, that was gone. Um... So that was, uh... Ugh. Ugh. Uh, uh, why haven't I got blocks there? There. So the massive spawn town, everything got yeeted. Um, and there was no backup. A backup had been suggested, but no backup was ever made. Um, well, rather, there was a backup from April. This happened in late June. So April, May, June, you know, three months of work, gone. So I say people are not very enthusiastic about this. Um, I think I'm going to get more buckets. Just mean, if I'm going to get more buckets, I can show you guys the overworld. The question is though, do you want to keep mining to the Neverite, or should I do a little building project and start building the other end of the Never Pool? Hello. Yee. Yee. Oh. Um. 
so yeah, do you want me to have a go at building an upgrade to this, or... Not an upgrade to this. Get, just get buckets, or go and do a building project while I get more buckets. Because, uh, the choice, the choice is yours. Within reason. Excuse me. Understandable. Uh, mean to get that done for a bit. So I'm gonna need the glass, the gate. In theory, I'll need more gates, but never mind. Uh, Kind of don't want to use the never wall. Um, take some of the spruce with me. And I'll take the scrap. Um, I'll leave the mushroom here. There you go. Where does this face? This face is north. Is this through 90 degrees? Ow. Rude. The, the, hmm. the woods are full of pigmen. Okay, so what I was going to say was... Uh So for now, I'm just going to use Neverack because I don't have um, enough concrete actually on me, and I need to go and get more sand. One, two, three. I'll need to get some of the shroom lights to. Uh, things in a little bit, but never mind for now. Uh, if I put the lower blocks in, I can then build up from them, as that has worked in the past, and hopefully still does. Uh, so I need to go up, no I need to go up more than that, don't I? So one, that's two, three, four, be going up five, but I only got four so far. Ugh. One, two, three. So I'm jumping. One, two, three. Should have brought some of the never wall with me. Because it looks terrible, don't get me wrong, but gives a bit of variety. Should now be done breaking my legs for a minute. So the plan will be to use some different blocks to make the tops and bottoms of these. Um, but I'm not quite sure what to use yet. Because I kind of want to use the uh, red um, never brick. The one you use with um, Neverwart to make it. But I've not found any Neverwart yet in the form of Neverwart, just the crimson leaf blocks.
that reminds me, I can build the gateways as well, as they are there. And I could put the gates in. Um, I'm going to have two windows left over after this. That would be nice. Conversely, I could just block up the back entrance to this place. The choice is mine. Uh -huh. So, window... Oh yes, the 1.16 walls are very nice, because they now go flat, rather than like these two. Uh, so that's, that's an improvement. Gate. Gate. I uh, need a crafting table. I'm not going to offer the furnaces, because I don't, I don't really need them here. Um, so I'll need a floor, but it's a reasonable start, I hope. Um, so, uh, some lighting, that will help. Plenty of charcoal, because I've been burning trees. Probably need to get rid of this tree at some point. Uh, it's getting dark. Let's make sure there's light inside, otherwise I'll come back and it'll be full of creepers and I'll run out of torches. Well done, me. So, um, <clears throat> I guess I'll walk in through the top of the town. Got the one of the blacksmith shops. It's all made of grey concrete, because I can. <coughs> Right, where's his meat? There he is. Oh, you got a crossbow. Ah, you were a piglin who came out. I see. They can't use the crossbows. So, we've got the library just here. It's very, very basic so far. I'm going to upgrade it sometime. Uh, it's got bedrooms. All very exciting. Not sure how many librarians I've got at the moment. Little farm next to the library. Uh, Fletcher's shop, Tanner's, Cowfield. How did you get out? Oi. Get. Get in the village. I don't know how he keeps getting out. There shouldn't be a way that he can get out. He's done that multiple times. So anyway, that's the masons. Oh, that's when I have a silk touch pickaxe. Yeah. Could finally get that block cleared. So I've got a butcher's shop, farmhouse. Uh, I'm going to ignore that bit for now. I've got the nice little town square. I've got my horse. It's got no name yet. Uh, got the other blacksmith shop. Like the bigger bomb for the yard. I'll need this for the netherite upgrading. Yeah, I think I think is I thought I'd done them far enough, but I might not have done. I'll have to catch him doing it. Cause it might just be he's wandering out and swimming around the fence. Have all my llamas. There's uh, Carl and Vladimir, and then their friends, I guess. They just gather naturally as llamas do. Uh, and then yeah, let me just go back in. And then we've got my little house I've been making. Um, I've also got a fisherman's shop and a cartographer's, but. We can mostly ignore those. I better not have been a zombie in my lounge. No, it was the map. Okay. So let's upgrade the map. So that's how it is now. And... There you go. The spooky... Never zone. Yeah. It's only that one, so I'm just not sure if he's, like, clipping or something. Just be difficult. So yeah, I've got a village... Probably just not quite see it. No, nah, there's a tree in the way. There's a village over there. And there's another village. Just up there you can see some of it. There we go, yeah. Got my cat. Uh, I'm gonna grab another stack of cobblestone. Uh gonna drop those off. Uh gonna drop those off. That uh, I need another stuff box for stuff. Yeah, I kind of don't have a shortage of iron. All this has been mined. None of it's golem iron or anything, or like, found. Um, 
I could use it to make buckets quite easily. However, uh, I plan to just go and buy buckets of fish. Um, I need arrows as well, actually. Get a stack of arrows. Uh, so if I need... There we go, right. Um, I'm not very heavily supplied. No iron farm. I mean, I looked at making an iron farm, but the 1.16, they seem to work a little differently, so... Having to hold my horses on that one. I can hold my horses, I could put some golden horse armor on my horse. Uh, put that back in there. That can go in there. Um, hmm. I'll take that grass block with me. I might as well have a nice garden. Um, I've got more stone. I've got plenty of regular wood. Um, hmm. I'll take more sticks with me, why not? Can't hurt. Uh, yeah. Right then. Got my library up here. It's not finished yet, but it was minimalist because it was needed. I wonder if I should try and chant some more stuff, but I, I, I unfortunately have died of occasion and lost stuff. Uh, kind of tempted to take a couple of villages into the Never, but uh, not yet. So I need the fisherman. Captured zombie iron farms do work, but it's uh, effort. I think that's the word. Um, like I have a prime village for it. It's the one over there because it's a mess. So unless they jump, which I'm pretty sure they can't, then uh, you shouldn't be able to get out. Oh, I've got a zombie trench. Don't have anything in it. I mean, it's, the thing is, it's the effort of I wanted to stream me playing this, and uh, so far, this is the first I'd streamed of it. Okay, enchanting my bow has really made it uh, more pleasant to get rid of creepers. Yeah, I've not really explored anything in this area. I've just kind of bumbled around. Uh, so I didn't really realize there was that extra village over there for a while until I saw it at night and was like, oh, that's that's really near. But no, this is all fresh built. Um, I think it went... Uh, that one, that one, that one... That one, that one. Uh, that one. That one. Just kind of worked around the town. Just adding things I needed them. Breeding up villages as required. Uh, many. Hmm. So I had my cartographer. He is most of my source of cash. Hello there. Yes, I wish to buy three buckets of cod. I didn't think this through. Uh, Alright. Now. I'm aware I could just make it, but... Buckets of, like, emeralds are basically free, so... There we go. Now I need to. Oh, there's some dye in there. Not. Well, ink, anyway. Uh, if you can jump the fence, the villagers will get out. Um, the villagers don't normally have the ability to jump, though. So. Hello there. Arrows, please. So then I can do this. 
and it puts a little flap up. Eventually I want to get a redstone lamp for that so it'll just kind of glow. Um, yeah, so I'll try and sort it out at some point. So I'm guessing they're just... Yeah, no, I'll, I'll sort it eventually. My, cons my assumption is they just wander around this end because, you know, no jumping required there. Not sure what that golem's doing. Not gonna, not gonna question it. Uh, I could get the sugar cane, harvest that. I could probably harvest some more beefs, but uh, I could probably harvest some more beefs. I kind of want to get a looting sword though before I do that. If I want to get a looting sword, I kind of want to get uh, more librarians to do this. So far, my librarian sells no books. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of useless, aren't you? Yeah. So. Uh, how do I... I keep forgetting to bring a gate for this. And make a gate. Instead of having to, like, swim over there. Is that a Enderman splorch? Pretty sure that was an Enderman splorch. Where are you? Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, while I'm showing people about, this is my mine. It's the the classic me style one. I have so far gotten five, no six, six diamonds, including one where I got a whole one with a fortune two pickaxe. Good times. Uh, yeah, I got some blocks there. I should probably get rid of at some point. Uh. Yeah. So I reascend. I do want to try and use quite a lot of nether stuff in my town when I can. So that should hopefully go well. Um, braining. Get there eventually. Um, but yeah, do plan to build an iron farm. I just want to find one that works still. As I'd seen one, it's like, oh, this looks quite good. It's a 1.16. It's a 1.16 bedrock. And it will work once the, I think, the new snapshot has been finalised. But it doesn't currently work. Which is, uh, tiresome. Uh, just for tidiness. I guess I'll go put this junk away. Question is, um, chat, should I make the concrete for the floors and that before I come back to the nether? Or should I make it later? Because I am once more undecided. In fact, actually. Get the concrete done. Alright. Uh, now I need. Uh, red dye, that's what I need. Uh, this one. So I need, in theory, if I want to make that much. I make, how much concrete did I make? Did I make? I think I made 32 of each. So if I make 48 of each, that should cover the difference. So that means I need six. 
six beetroot dye. So the one main use of beetroot at this point is dye because beetroot's kind of useless. Store those. Uh, I kind of want to store the polished blackstone bricks just so I've got some. Same the excuse me never brick. I don't know why I brought never brick and didn't just. Uh, being slow. Right, I've got a bunch of pickaxes. And it sounds like I've got an enderman in my attic. Hmm. If I die in here, it's going to be embarrassing. probably just die when I go outside now. So remember, remember kids, check your attic for Enderman. Should probably make out just a hatch to get up there at some point. Some point. Well, the day went quickly. At some point, I will need to uh, brain. Oh yeah, you can just see in front of me my uh, my old quarry, which I've since filled in with water, so I don't break my legs if I fall into it. Stop stealing my land! I can see you over there. Nice little view of the village. It's uh, it's semi-organic. It's not, you know, too tidy. Like it's on a grid, but it's not on the grid, as it were. You know, I've I've tried to not have everything be too autistic. You know, got a nice. The sheep field's gotten bigger over time as I got more sheep. Uh, the cow field could probably do with being bigger at some point, but. I'd have to move it somewhere else. That or extend it into the pig field and just move the pigs. The various little ponds are as they were. Ah, I can see the golems, just nothing else. My little house, need to upgrade that sometime. Whee! And this is the fun part. Now I could use a faster pickaxe, but gravity would uh, not help. Shoot. Go away. Yeah, I, I'm kind of limited by gravity in this uh, this setup. This is some high energy entertainment, I'm sure you'll all see. So, just for the purpose of uh, comparison. It's a little bit faster, but it's still just kind of as slow as the blocks fall. I'm not going to try and pick a fight with the golems. Last time I, there was a pigman after me, I accidentally hit a golem, and the golem killed me. 
Which is why I have only 20 levels and not uh, 30 or 40. I think I've only really died to, uh, I think, one of being on fire. Um, and the others have pretty much all been golems. Let's grab a tiresome. I need to make a shield at some point, but I currently have no red sheep. So, that was all the concrete made. Now I just need to check which orientation the concrete went in. Do -do 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 -do. So that's west, and it is red on the pillars. Do -do 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 -do. That is west. Okay, so the pole's through 90 degrees. That just seems obnoxious game. Like, why did you have to do this? Also, good morning, Ash. I trust you have slept adequately. Now, surprisingly enough, concrete is not blast proof. Um, at least in terms of um, the, the spooky ghost boys. Uh, so. That was rather annoying when I found that out, because I was like, ah, oh, cool, I've got this nice concrete floor, and it's been exploded. Um, well, that's the concrete floor in here, done. Ugh. some spare concrete, that's nice. Uh, so, never warp block. What else have I used? Never wart. Shroom light. And uh, crimson. Uh, braining. 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 Not sure why I have a boat with me, to be honest. Right. Some point get some overworld uh, crimson farming going on. Do you have no red sheep? Uh, yeah, I don't actually have any red sheep. I only have naturally coloured sheep. I've not dyed any of them, uh, which I know is unusual for me. Again, I've been trying to not do too much before I started, you know, streaming it. Just because I'm not doing very well at that front is uh, neither here nor there. This then gets a roof of sorts. I don't have any torches, but it's not likely to explode on its own accord. So this is about the same as I've got in the Never but just through 90 degrees, because, yeah. So, crimson stem turns into crimson planks, turns into more crimson stairs. Uh, 
So yeah, I want to try and use all of the new Never materials in the build. Um, I'm probably going to use um, red crimson blocks to make the top spits and basalt for the beams. Because that sounds aesthetically pleasing. Ow. Don't remember making that into a jack o' lantern, but apparently I did. But no, the uh, the crimson and blackstone is going to be very much in evidence on uh, the SFO server when it eventually works. Uh, as, you know, the black and red. I mean the concrete floor's alright, but it's apparently not durable, and the that stuff very much isn't durable, so yeah. See how that goes. There you go, so yeah, this is now <coughs> aesthetically at least matching to the other one. But I need to go and get more blocks, and to get more blocks I need to go exploring. So I shall go back into the nether and we'll go do some exploring rather than digging. Store that, store... hang on to that actually. Get rid of those, get rid of that. St store the spare arrows. Not bother with those for now. Don't need a boat. Really don't need a boat. Right, so I've got five buckets worth of lava. Right then. Oh, I've got two acacia logs. Alright. So, six buckets of lava to go and deal with something. Now I think there was a Basalt Delta this way, but I didn't really go and explore it much. I'm also going to get the... Oh yeah, also my armor is a collection of stuff that I could buy and or loot. Because, again, I wasn't trying to rush and get everything done, because I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll make, a, I'll make the diamond pickaxe and the enchanting table, but I'm not going to go out and be like, right, I've got a full set of enchanted iron armor before I start streaming. It just seemed a little unnecessary. And I forgot torches! Forget my own head next. If only it wasn't, you know, pixelized onto my body. This is the face of lazy drawing. I'm sure if someone really wanted to, they could take my avatar and draw it with, like, nice texturing and everything so it actually looks like, you know, it's not just flat. But that person wouldn't be me because I'm lazy. But I'm a lazy person who has lots of torches and buckets. You may also notice, Skog, there's a massive lack of lava just pouring out of the ceiling all over the place, isn't there here? And the answer to that is yes, because I got rid of it and used it for cooking. So the plan will be eventually, if I can find a suitable biome for it, or just stockpile enough. I have a silk touch pickaxe, I could start doing it. Uh, the mountains nearby in my house are tall enough that I could get ice there. You know? Do an 8x8, get a stack of ice. I fair, it goes into 9, so I'll probably do a 9x9 nine nine of ice. And, uh... Yeah, it's the bit I've not really done much with. So... I remember what I was doing. There is there is method in well, there is madness in my method, I guess. Um, so I want to have a. I'm trying to build in safe areas because uh, melting and burning to death doesn't appeal to me. Uh, I know, very boring. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. I'm very exciting and counting all of it. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So far I've only found some lava doing that. Uh, that's two. Three. One, two, three. Right. This will resume to something a bit more interesting very shortly, I promise. Um, or at least interesting to me. Interesting, I guess, is subjective. I heard a ding. Mm. Mm. Ah, well. Thank you for the uh, donation, Saki. Your uh, your message has been well received. I have indeed gotten uncomfortable. Uh, in theory, I should be silk touching those, saving them for later. Uh, but I'm lazy. Um, no, I trust everyone is enjoying their lockdown, unless, of course, you have been out doing the legitimate act of protest. Um, as long as you're not protesting against the lockdown, I gather that's still banned. Um, <laughs> right, so that has given me enough blocks and a nice, tidy, you know, tunnel mouth to work with. Totally, totally the only thing that was required from this. Uh, here. Yeah, yeah, basically. What well, lockdown? Uh, I've just realised I've managed to get all those messed up. There we go. But yeah, lockdown is ostensibly over. However, um, what with us still having international travel in and out of the country, that is uh, a variable. Because having been to Heathrow and various other places recently, I can tell you for a fact that um, they don't they don't give a fuck. Like the whole like, ah oh yes, as uh, you know as a airport we will be making sure that people are, you know, social distancing, we're gonna take their temperatures, we're gonna do all these things to make sure that no one possibly has any chance of spreading, you know, the plague around the place. What they forget to mention is the fact that although they say they will do these things, they will in fact not do these things. So, this way, their temperature check screens are literally just a screen showing an IR view of a person. IR being infrared. Um, but that's it. That's all it does. It's not actually doing anything with heat scanning people it's just it's just a screen of a picture so yeah not not too pleased by this if that's you know kind of begs that question of if that's what they're doing for their you know safety checks during a pandemic i dread to think what their security's like as you know apparently this uh the the coof is significantly worse than anything else that could happen so this delta um, basalty one uh, should now be accessible without me catching on fire. Yay! Apart from all of that fire, we'll ignore that fire. <sighs> right, uh, make a little stack up here. Now there is a way to make basalt, uh, it's actually quite easy, however it has resources needed that I do not have, so yeah, I'm just going to scoop out that uh, boiling hot magma. This mines quite pleasantly. Well, I mean, the uh, the lockdown of, it's a lot, you know, you, you can't go anywhere. However, people can still come and go from the country with 
next to zero oversight on it. Which means that at this point, even if everyone had stayed inside for like the first two months, we'd completely killed off the virus. People could still bring it into the country very, very easily by just, you know, catching a plane or like a boat or anything. Because in the two weeks that Ash was here, we had to stay, well, had to keep her inside. Um, unless you wanted to, you know, go out for exercise or shopping, which were the allowable things. Um, we would, you know, have, you know, regular inspections to make sure that she was staying inside. Nah, nah, nothing happened. Literally nothing happened from that. So I have 52 basalt, so I can make polished basalt. Um, which is like basalt, but slightly shinier. And kind of looks like wood. So I am... I am very displeased with the uh, various different authorities, you know, reactions to trying to deal with a global pandemic that isn't that bad unless you have pre-existing conditions. Um, I'm wondering how much of this stuff I should mine. I'll break this pickaxe. Let's go with that. There we go. Right, so... Basalt deltas, uh, for people unfamiliar with IRL geography, are formed where a... Um, I believe, if I am not forgetting my geography... Geology, whatever you want to call it. I think geography covers both. Um, where a... No, I'm going to forget the words. Um, where a lava has hit water and is rapidly cooled, forming large crystals. You then get other variations where it cools slowly, creating smaller crystals, which I believe is granite. Granite and basalt being the main two. So you get a lot of basalt on the sea floor, obviously, as any volcanic eruptions will, uh, you know, get a bit soggy. Uh, there we go. Got on everything we can there. So, uh, yeah, that's, I guess, the very simplest terms of how that works. Let's go for a bit of a walk out through it. It's got patches of blackstone, which is, as I say, very pleasant. I plan to go and mine a lot of that for Varangia when uh, that becomes an option again. Uh, this place is sinful and terrible, but it's, you know, it works, I guess. Uh, this is a much bigger basalt delta than on the last server I was on, where it's literally just a, there was like a stick of it, and then that was it. Ooh. Note to self, don't. Yeah, it's got its magma slimes. Can't see anything big out there. And I'm pretty sure it's the Basalt Deltas where the uh, Piglin Bastions spawn. Uh, now in theory, I know I could just block over the uh, the lava to get rid of it, but... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, the tents. Uh, but I don't want to do that as... Uh, my intention is to have a basically near limitless fuel supply and, you know, not just completely destroy the environment. Where is it? There it is. The concern is, um, as well, if I leave too much lava about, if the explodey anger boys destroy too much of the environment, they'll just pour lava over everything. Which is, you know, 
suboptimal. Now I'm aware as well, there are huge lava lakes. I'm never going to actually run out of lava. But, you know. Um, now, I'm sure you're seeing the problem that I'm seeing. And that problem is, where am I? Oh, good. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I guess I should knock out this side first. Yeah, no, the new never is quite nice. Um, I say I tried to get to it too quickly last time and just had nothing to do there. Because I spawned in in a nice biome, but I couldn't deal with anything that lived there because I had no resources. So, you know, I had no gold for armor, I had no, you know, iron for weapons, anything like that. Although you don't need it, it makes it much more pleasant to, you know, live. Ooh. I'm in theory in a VC, although I can see that the Discord overlay is crashing, so I think I will turn that off. Um, now I've noticed. Where? There you are! No, nope, they've gone. Alright. Huh, fire went out. So my plan is to make, um gas-proof roads. Oh, this is starting to grow. So my thought was, this stuff grows naturally. I can harvest it and use it to make, um... What's it called? Stuff. I also had one of the warp mushrooms and I accidentally composted it as I was walking past the composter and I was like, oh, that, that, that's not good. <laughs> So, I have more resources to build with. Uh, I have this... Actually, let's go and put these down outside so you can see them. So we have polished basalt and we have regular basalt. I kind of like the look of the regular. That would make nice surface for roads, like placed vertically. Do you have a server? I do not have a server. This is a single player. I probably meant. Well, I probably. I normally put that in the description. Apparently, I forgot. I was rather asleep this morning. So that line's going to get replaced with a different block. But these ones inside. So I need three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen of them. Uh, so I'm going to make sixteen, and then I really need to remember to bring a. Uh, the the table thingy, you know, that that the does the thing, the saw table. So notice how none of those weeping vines that are still growing on there do anything. Weeping vines are a very diminishing resource. I don't actually know if shears work on them for a 100% uh, collection rate. I should try that sometime. As I have shears at my house. I know fortune's meant to work on them, so in theory if I get a nice enchanted hoe. Uh, right then. So I've got the middle bit. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep the middle bit as it is. I have eight blackstone. Uh, got glowstone as well. I should probably use the glowstone for something, but... I kind of like the darker aesthetic. Also, I don't know where I'd put glowstone. Um, hmm... Polished brick. There we go, and this is very much going to be a work in progress for a while, I'm afraid. 
as I need to find a bastion or just a wild patch of it to get the nether wart to make the nether wart brick. Uh, now hopefully I'll be playing on the uh, short for Otaku server again though soon when that's back up as this is to some degree at least lots of testing um, for doing stuff on there. So yeah, the portal is visible down the road. It's got a gate, just so in theory stuff doesn't get through, but stuff gets through anyway because it just seems to do that. Um, I need more storage chests. Um, or I just need to get rid of some of this into solid blocks. Much, much easier. There we go. Uh, store the glowstone. Are oh, you going to lay some carpets? Uh, in the nether? Probably, actually. Um, I'm aware what you're referencing, but uh, I'm going to continue just as I was. Uh, can't attempt to use the diamond pickaxe just to go burr. Just, uh, I don't really have... Until I get mending, I can't really repair it though, which is saddening. So my thoughts as well are, if I can get... Uh, enough plants to grow um bleh, what's the word? I can't really grow crops in the nether. That's one of my main issues. If I well I can, but it's tricky. If I can grow crops in the nether, I can then grow um bone meal easily without having to just kill skeletons. Because I've got, you know, I could just go in. Once I found a nether fortress, plenty of nether skeletons. With the skeletons, rather. Um, so that'll grow eventually. Um, but yeah, it takes a bone meal to grow each block of nylium. This has been like this for ages, and it's still missing that one which I took to start the bit over there. So I, I thought Nylium spread. I am very disappointed. Um, presumably the mycelium or whatever it is, the mushroom island grass also doesn't spread of its own accord. Which sounds rather sad, but uh, I guess it do be like that. Um, right, I have another block of. What's called? Uh, store that. Let's just use up this brick. There we go. Uh, so this this path over here is much darker. I need to get some lighting on it. But this was my primary direction. So, hey, it's dying to spread. That's good. Um, I'll take a while, but hey, I've got a while. So I should probably get some hoppers at some point uh, for in here, make a auto furnace. That sound just went off then for a second, that was a bit weird. Uh, oh, I've got four bones actually. Let's turn these bones into bone meal. And then try and finish the roof of this place, because it needs a roof. So, uh, let's invest three of it in that, and then go like this. There you go, that is five crimson roots. And will this crimson root 
it's really good at making compost. So that's that's useful. However, the investment does not pay off especially quickly. Uh, also, I, I Laura laughably was like, ah, oh, I will put this round there so it doesn't spread too far. It doesn't spread. So, yeah. That's rather nice. Right, now... Hey, I managed to cut it down quickly enough that it didn't grow back. So I still have the grass there. And, oh, no. Could you not? Did it drop anything good at least? It dropped a tear. That'll do. Uh, it broke the window. Well, this is going to be a continuous maintenance task, I can see. That I've got to put some gas proof like walling up at some point. It'll be soon to do. Right. Uh... Oh, it keeps going, all right. So if I get an efficiency hoe, this gets much easier. But I don't have an efficiency hoe, I just have an unbreaking hoe. So, ow. Hello? Shoot. Wait, that's the first time I got magma cream off these? Wow. That's a rare drop, apparently, without looting. Right, let's get all this find out. It's kind of annoying that you can't do anything with this. Like, it doesn't do anything. If you know of anything it does do, do let me know, because that would be quite handy. You have suggestions of what to do with it. Because I've got all of this red that is basically just kind of dirt. But not dirt, because you can't grow stuff on it. hear a gas farting around somewhere. Oh, it's right on my house. Alright. <laughs> it sounds like the uh, Yancey Crowshaw book. Jam. It's about an apocalypse with jam in it. <laughs> I think the opening lines are, uh, I woke up one morning to find that the entire downtown area of uh, Brisbane had been coated with a three foot thick layer of jam. So it's an interesting read, can recommend it. I got it uh, when I bought Yahtzee's, um, oh what was it called? Uh, the Consuming Shadow. Need to play that again. I was playing it a while ago for my old housemates, but uh, you know, after they kicked me out, I kind of lost the uh, the mojo with playing it. It's a good game, though. I should finish it again. I know it's um, you have to do various things around the UK and then get back to Salisbury Plain before uh, you know the apocalypse happens. Good times. Uh, right, so I need to make this patch of Nylium bigger. Cars, I need to get these mushrooms. Uh, 
as the mushrooms can be used to make more trees. As the crimson stems are not terribly efficient to make anything out of. Uh, yeah, so far they're pretty pretty efficient. So, you can't even burn this stuff. That's the only thing. If you could burn it, I'd feel much better about having tons of it lying about the place. Looking untidy. Well, that's uh. Let's get that in storage. I need a new hoe. Yeah, I could, I'm, I could probably use the blocks for something fairly creative at some point, but uh, I just don't know what at the moment, because they're kind of dull on their own. That reminds me. Get the XP. I mean, you know, they're, they're kind of, it's one of those things that's like, oh, that's cool, and then you're like, okay, it's it's like annoying dirt, because at least dirt can grow stuff on it, or leaves. Like, imagine if when you cut down a tree, the leaves all just kind of stayed, and you couldn't do anything with them. It's like cutting down a tree with silk touch, but like, just keeping all the leaves. It's not like the leaves even give you saplings, like proper trees. Well, the roof is slightly more on. There we go. Well, who is the real more on here? Haha. -ha. It is it is probably me. Right. Uh So I've got restock on arrows. Really need to start using that pickaxe now. I think I'll just put it in storage. The diamond one's holding up okay. Uh Right. Um, I'm just going to quickly come down here again for a little bit, try and clear some more of that lava. Now I've got some empty buckets, and then I will continue back to exploring. As every time I can come back to here and get rid of some, you know, excess lava, that's that's good. Uh, also, with the the tunnels, I'm going to have to dig to find the uh, ancient debris is uh, inconvenient because there'll have to be a lot of them. Hmm. I think that's a lake. Because if the ancient debris spawns in a one, you can't, you know, you've got to do your tunnels a block apart. You know, two blocks apart, sorry. Because you'll see it in the wall on either side. But you can't do it three apart. So my next tunnel would have to go here. I'll have to go like this. And of course, if I have the diamond pick, I can just go brrrr. 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 Uh, I'm going to stop there. But yeah, so the diamond pick is very pleasant, but I need more diamonds to keep using it. Now, there is a thing I can do. I think it's uh, Shift C. Is it Alt C? Control C. It's a thing you can do where you can show the chunks. Um, also, I need to remember to turn off the uh, Discord overlay because it's broken. Uh, overlay off. There we go. So, uh, I need to try and remember the... I can't remember this. There's a command anyway that you can use for turning on your chunk view. So you can know once you've, you know, dug out the block from that chunk that there's very unlikely to be any more of them. But this also has the advantage of I now have some extra blocks so I can go and explore without, you know, not having any building materials. F3 and G. I think it might be, actually. 
I'll wait till I get to the top of the stairs in case it, you know, kills me or something stupid. Oh yeah. So this shows every chunk. So down there, presumably this one I think has the neverite in it. So anything else, there won't be any more neverite in that square in theory. Hey, the grass is growing. That's good. Uh, I could make three more furnaces so I could make better use of all of this, but... So I kind of want to have enough stuff cooking that I can always, you know, get back and have empty buckets. Make more chests, why not? More chests never hurt anyone. Apart from when the piglins find you and then they, you know, break your kneecaps. Uh, right, so all of the never brick. Never rack can go in there, and I once again need more buckets. But I'm sure I shall survive. So, uh, let's go with the occasional torches, so I go down a block, then I'm at this block height, I prefer to use flat tunnels because then when it comes later and I put ice boats in for all of this lot, rude. I can uh... now that's not going to have done anything useful, is it? Assuming I'm not stupid. Hey. Right. Um, I make good decisions on a regular basis, honest. Ooh, is that an enchanted piglin? It is. My boots have not completely degenerated yet. This is good. I kind of want your armor. Uh, so I need to dig not too far through this wall. And then I should be on the other side of this uh, outcrop. Determined to put the torches on the wall and they don't get burned up if lava comes through. Hmm. Well, uh, if I don't. Uh, not what I prefer to do, but I'm out of buckets, so I'll have to deal with it. It's not like I'm going to run out of lava down here, am I? I've already got several different ways down to uh, lava lakes. I can hear a ghast up above me. That could just be a continuation of the never waste, though. Because that's what the old, you know, never is now. It's just the never waste, as opposed to the... Warped Forest, Crimson Forest, uh, Basalt Delta, Soul Sand Valleys. Uh, amongst other things. Um, I'm trying to what the other ones are. There's the Piglin Bastions. The... Pressing F and not 4 because I'm clumsy apparently. 
Uh, so there's no orange on any of these blocks. If there is orange on any of these blocks, I guess I'll die. Uh, there's some outside. I can hear the outside. There we go. Really? Ooh, Endermen generally spawn in warped forests. There might be a warped forest up there. Uh, let's stumble my way back up there. Despite the fact I didn't need to go all the way up there. What am I doing? Now that the sun has moved and is now just there we go. I can actually see my monitor properly again. That will help. Ah, that's the the gas squeak. The hoglins are throatier. That's fine, I've not seen any ho hoglins on here for a while. I think I saw a couple in the Crimson Forest very early on, but none since then. Ooh! Hey! It's a warp forest. How do I get into it? Uh, hmm. Well, that'll do, I guess. Um, This is suboptimal, however. You know, I've been really. You know, what I forgot to do now because I'm clever. You know, what I totally brought with me. Uh, so I can't gather any of the grass. I can gather the. Really? None? Hmm. Okay, free. That'll. That'll be nice. Uh, there's the trees. So I need to come back here with Silk Touch. So I'm going to go back and, uh, and get that. However, these vines should be useful for traversing places. Uh, so these are the ones that grow up, the other ones grow down. Uh, let's put some edges to that. Just fix that. my arrow hit, I just... Hmm. 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 Could bring some chickens into the nether. I don't actually have a chicken farm yet. Bring some chickens into the nether and I've got a source of feathers. Hello. Uh, right, so I need my silk touch pick. some empty buckets. Uh, right then, let's go and put out the fires. Get some of that nylium. seen someone's project which was uh, to put grass all across the nether. I can approve of this. 
It's a nice tidy thing to do. So, gonna go and explore a Nylium biome. I have a bucket to deal with any extra lava. Alright. Uh, I'll do. Uh, don't use too much of that up. So we got loads of glowstone. Shame we haven't got any bone meal, but uh, I'm hoping if I harvest enough of these, I'll just try it with the fortune. Hey, okay. It does seem harvesting with fortune helps. What? No. Need place to hide. Not armoured enough to deal with Enderman right now. You can't hit Enderman with arrows. So that's that's a thing. Uh well I've got plenty of stuff. I could, you know, bail now. <laughs> Hopefully it'll get bored soon and, you know, leave me alone. You started this. Fair, I didn't need silk touch, I just needed patience. Come on. Yep. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. One. The other one. Hmm. Well, that was weird. So, silk touch, not silk touch. Uh, oh, it's it seems to be a bit hit or miss. Uh, right. There is lava up there. It's kind of weird that the Nylium doesn't spread. I know I've already said this, but it's just... Uh, it kind of feels like it should. Oh, mushrooms. Thing. I don't want to just plunder the biomes, I want to, you know, what's it called? Be vaguely environmental. Vaguely, not, you know, not entirely. I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything particularly exciting, but, uh, you know, a little bit of not ecological vandalism sounds like it would help. So I'm just going to get a few extra blocks. Uh, hmm. Bingo.
says. Quite useful that you get the both types of flowers in each biome, but primarily just one. You only get one type of grass. So now that's gone, this place will get a lot darker. But it'll get a lot safer. I'm not a fan of sky lava. So I'm just gonna layer by layer scoop off the top of this tree. Hey, I can now get the green ones. I'm not sure if I like the green ones or the red ones better. I think the red ones have a generally stronger aesthetic, but I prefer the colour of the green ones. Because, you know, exciting me. There you can see there's the red mushrooms. And yes, every now and again when I see those, it's such a bright light that I'm going, ah, lava. Uh, in case you were worried that might have just been you. Or if you're now just laughing because it's just me, it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, right. Hopefully the weather will clear up a bit later as it's sunny enough for it and I can get some of my day job done and feel less like a slug. However, if my ribcage does want to cooperate, I will continue feeling like a slug. So I've got that going for me. You know, just slug things. Slugs probably have some benefit to the environment, but as far as I'm concerned, they're just kind of crappy snails, and snails weren't that good to start with. If you're a snail cultist, you're welcome to try and change my mind. However, I am uh, unlikely to be easily swayed on the subject of them, as uh, I can apparently remember long afternoons when I was little of being coated in slugs while sitting on my mum's allotment while she was doing stuff there. And me being generally just sort of distressed by this because being covered in small slimy things when you yourself are functionally a small slimy thing is uh, much less pleasant than it sounds. But again, could just be me. So scoop up all the blocks, don't want anything to go to waste. If hermit slugs are a thing. Now, the important thing to remember when uh, running around in a biome you've not already been to before is to leave clear indicators of where you've been so that you don't get lost. Because you wouldn't want to get lost in a big, you know, empty biome, would you? Question might be a little deep for me at this time in the morning, Saki. Well, I have found the warped forest biome, so now all I need to do is find a bastion and a fortress. Uh, where's the out? There's the out. Right, 
I'm going to use some more of the diamond pickaxe just to speed this along. Uh, bastions are quite fun, although uh, I would not want to go to them without a lot of buckets and an empty inventory. Yeah, I mean, I'm not particularly opposed to snails, I'm just, um... I tend to come across them quite regularly in my job when I'm doing, like, garden stuff. And I don't like the concept of, like, smashed snail being on me, because not only have I killed something accidentally, it's now its corpse is on me and it's gross. Pa pacifism through contempt. Gonna be a thing. There's a thing I need to try. Oop. more blocks. Ooh. Back into the tunnel. Have them breaking. It does have them breaking free. So this pickaxe should be durable for a long time. However, I'm uh, still, you know, cautious. So. Okay. Got a nice smooth path down into here. Nice big open area. Gives you the grey fog as opposed to the red fog. Ooh, yeah, right. Um, big old lava ocean though. Oh, there's a hoglin though, if you can just see over there. Uh, and we have the crimson grass, so that's, that's nice. Uh, Big hole in the floor. Ooh. Uh, right, I think I'm going to take this load of stuff back to the house. Or at least back to the hub. And uh, go from there ish. So, now the question is where, where, would, where did I get out of here? Uh. I'm good at this navigation thing, aren't I? Normally, I actually am, sincerely. However, at the moment, no. Uh, was it further down? This is this is why I like to use nice big landmarks for these things. Uh, not there. So I could see the lava pond. Um, hmm. Huh. A lot of endermen here. It's going to make it difficult to look around without much difficulty. Uh, is it lower down? No. Um, okay, okay, right. There's the beam. 
beam is useful. I can use that. So it is on the line of 19? Yeah. Line of 19 or 20. Just go round the corner. Destroy more nylium because apparently that's just what I'm doing. Uh, There we go. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to see this, was I? Well done, me. That should maybe indicate better, possibly. Ow. That'll do. Much further forwards than I thought it was. That's the main thing. So we've got crimson, we got warped, we got a basalt delta, and we got a load of wastes. Hey. I've got a ceiling that's just too low to run quickly. This is when I break through into lava by mistake and then die. Glad I didn't remember it. So, swap back to my not so good pickaxe. And back we go. So not actually gone that far even either, that's a good. So, things that I can use and or make something out of and or store. Um, so, first one is going to be this side of the road for convenience. Just going to strip off this area here. Don't technically need to dig this out, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, what I should really be doing is going to one of these biomes, growing stuff on the naturally occurring ground, and then coming back. What I'm doing, though, is not that. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excuse me. Now I could use shroom lights for these blocks. In fact, I could actually use shroom lights in the tunnels. That would probably be a better utilization of the uh, material. So now I can put the warped funguses that I got on there. They won't grow on their own annoyingly, but uh, oh, I can. Okay. So now if I get some bone meal I could get them to grow. Warped roots though. Let's see what I can get out of the warped roots. That's something. Now I need to get... Uh, Let's just use one block for now. Our twisting vines will hopefully grow of their own accord. 
And while I'm down here, I'm just going to quickly run and grab some more of that lava. And if I go F3G, so this chunk is done. So anything after here, though, there should be one in this area. And in all of these, which should be pleasant. There's a lot of lava back there. So the first one was right there. Let's go into this chunk. Hopefully, my effort to my madness here. Nearly out of pickaxes. Now, of course, there's always the option that there just won't be some in here. Or it'll be really high up or something, but this seems like an efficient option for searching through an area. Oh, it's just flint. Nice. Now, I'm sure there are probably more efficient ways, but just as I guess an example and for my own sense of awareness. Does the gravel look different in the Never compared to the Overworld? I have a feeling it does. A lot of gravel though. This is, um, as I say, this is not efficient by most means. Um, if you had like a high level pickaxe and you could just go burr, that would obviously be the very much the optimal solution. Because a pickaxe that goes burr solves many problems, unless the problem is uh, fixing it. Come on, finish having blocks. So, in theory, I've been through most of this place, and I could probably just as easily have gone like this. But it does appear that, uh, at least at this height, there is not any ancient debris in this chunk. just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go burr. Because in theory there should be, I, f I think there's a good if not 100% chance there being diamonds in every chunk as well. Now the useful thing is, I'm not that far from the house so it should still be rendered and the furnaces should still be cooking. Now there's various other ways you can use. You can use uh, beds, TNT, all kinds of stuff to, uh, you know, look for it. 
And I'm currently just being tidy because, uh, well, if you've watched any of my videos for long enough, you'll know that that's just a thing I kind of aspire to do, if nothing else. So yep, could do the long tunnel technique of just digging through and hoping you get it. And if you dig it far enough, you'll get some. Or you can uh, clear chunk by chunk. But if you're clearing it chunk by chunk, it goes up to level 120. And it'll always be surrounded by Neverrack. So bear that in mind. But no, I don't see any in this chunk. Disappointed. Check the ceiling in case I'm being blind. No. No near. Shameful display. However, there is uh, this chunk as well that I could clear out. I'm looking at that one too. That's already growing nicely. Alright, let's go drop off some of this junk. In theory, layer 15 is the floor layer. So I should be digging a block below that, so it's the second height. But uh, in theory, it should be on the floor at that point. So, hmm. That's probably an optimal way of doing it, but I am lazy and suboptimal, as I'm sure many of you have realised by now. Where's that gas? Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's two of them. Let's turn off the grid. Manilium! You dicks. Well, that was just rude. Ah, uh, hmm. I was concerned that we're going to overfire with one of those arrows and just, like, accidentally yeet a pigman, like, a mile away, and then just get buried in, like, pork. Yeah, the gas problem here is pretty bad, but it's it's where the portal is. You know, I don't want to have to move the portal, I guess. Uh... Oh, nice. Raining. Need some red. And I probably should have already uh, that nylium's already gonna have gone off underneath it. Yep. So I'll need to regrow the nylium first, then get a mushroom. And none of this tree is actually any good for composting. It's just good for tree. And the tree itself isn't even that good for tree. As most of it is these green blocks. Oh well. One thing it will be useful for is void filling. So say you've got a piece of terraforming you want to do. And you don't want to do the horrible thing of uh, making it a block thick. Um unlike floating. Just backfill it with this, I guess. And then put your grass or your stone or whatever on the top. She's like insulation foam, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the green is actually quite a nice teal in the overworld. I've used it as a... Uh, I tried doing some giant pixel art and uh, it looks quite nice as a textured stuff. Because it's, you know, it's not a flat colour like concrete. So it's nice as a flavour. So, you know, it's good for doing artistic stuff. But if you want to do autistic stuff, it's uh, not quite as useful. So I need to get some more grass. Let's 
do all that. I've got spare nylium. Uh, put the nylium over here. Hopefully not going to be a problem with the tree there. Probably should have just dropped it down a layer. Never mind. So I have green now. Alright, so let's try and do what I was going to do anyway. So, green. Recipes. Wood. So all my house in the overworld, you may have noticed, have a border of, I think it's oak wood, and the roof itself is made of pine. Or spruce, rather. But, uh, yeah, it's so functionally the same thing. Ugh. So I thought I'd try to do something similar to that, but with uh, this, so I've got the paler block as the accent, and then the darker block as the main body. I might have actually made too much. Oh, well, never mind. Um, I can use it for the other one. Now, that immediately looks so much nicer than it did. <sighs> right. This is something I've evidently not thought through, but it'll work. So I've got 12 of those twisting vines. I can always go back to a vine to get more, so I'm going to compost them. It wasn't enough. Oh! Oh! If you all want to just go and dislike the stream for how much of an idiot I am, Feel free. I'm just going to go and find a piece of lava to go and jump into in a minute. Um, I'm sure you'll understand. <laughs> Me am smart. That's, uh, that's... That's, uh, yeah. The, the floaty boys. Just gonna just gonna run away for a little while now. Uh, how was I that dumb? Right. Uh, uh, got wheat there, I need more dirt. Did I just kill a phantom? No, it's a spider.
So in all the videos I've seen when I've been watching people do this, I've never seen them compost the leaves. Not seen it happen. But apparently, that's a thing. So, one, two, three, four. Chests. Hoppers. I'm just going to feed into the top of this hopper. <laughs> okay. So me being a massive idiot later. So all my elaborate, like, very bootleg farms are suddenly completely irrelevant. Good to know, I guess. Uh... Still going. Right then. So for a start. Yeah, learning learning is a thing. Um, I'm just disappointed in myself if that's, uh, that's okay of everyone. Uh, on this side, just there. Twisting vines. Eventually the twisting vines will allow me to get on the roof. <sighs> right. So. Me being a massive idiot later. That can go in there. And I've got another 16 that. So I can grow as much of this stuff as I want to. If I want to. Uh, now I've got some problems with ghasts. This is probably not going to result in going anywhere very quickly, or well, but... Uh... So yeah. I am very disappointed in myself, as uh, as is hopefully evident. Uh, this isn't going to grow especially well, but it will grow. Eventually, I'll try and grow some like carrots out here, but I don't have any carrots yet, so yeah. Oh, not a fan of in the overworld. Got crops, got tree farm, got tall boy plants. Uh, let's carefully have a look over here. Not growing that much yet. Not sure what their maximum height to grow is too. I'm sure I'll find out and be disappointed. That's not grown yet, and that patch out the back is still there. But I do need that patch for growing the mushrooms, so that, that is technically useful. Um, braining. Store some of this stuff. Store some of this stuff. Make some pickaxes. Always need pickaxes. So, I kind of have used enough of the green. I now need more red. And now that I know that red is, although tiresome, 
not actually that bad to harvest. It's, yeah. Um, what do I need? I need wood. Alright then. There we go. So, might subtitle this stream, Skog Learns How Composting Works, or something stupid. If you have any better suggestions, I will put them in the, uh, after the episode, or now-ish, depending on how busy I feel. But yeah, just, uh... I hadn't realised you could compost the leaves. You've never been able to compost these before, to my knowledge. So I, that's new. I think. Or you've always been able to compost them, and I'm just stupid. If anyone feels like looking into that, then, uh, you know, you can let me know if I'm stupid or just slow. Or uninformed. There are many options. Uh, I've been streaming for more than two and a, nearly two and a half hours. Wow, that's uh, that's a thing. So, let's see how much compost. All that, those ooh, eighty leaves from that tree. See how much that makes. Well, let's get some mushrooms. Hey. There are a bunch of automatic farms for doing this that actually look quite good and seem to function nicely. But, uh... Not quite at the point where I want to start making one of those. Whoops. I only have animal mushroom. So... 80 made 10, which is a pretty good, pretty good ratio, not gonna lie. Uh, got 6 wood. Really? Oh well. It's something. for completioning. So there's a bunch of different farms. I think uh, Wattles has done one, Avamance has done one, probably other people that I don't follow have done them as well. Um, I try not to follow too many because uh, sometimes there's like a massive drought of content and you've got nothing to watch and other times it's just there's so much on that it's just you don't pay attention I'm also just gonna mute for a second on OBS to grab a drink as uh, apparently that's quite noisy and my apologies be back in a moment Okay, sorry about that. Uh, if anyone fancy joining me on the Discord, they are technically welcome to. Just, uh, what's the word? Hmm, that works nicely. Uh, where was that? There it is. Ow. 
Got it. No loot. Mm. Right, let's go see what it destroyed. And it hit the farm, of course it did. Why am I on fire? I shouldn't be on fire for that long. Come on, game. Uh, right, these crops grow with light, generally, so... I might put them with shroom lights, because they are much brighter. Also, I need to find some soul sand. No worries, Ash. It was more just a general, you know, if people want to, rather than a please join me. So. Two more. I have two mushrooms. Hey, nice. Three mushrooms in that one. Yeah, you know, actually, I think one of the things I'll try and do uh, when I've got back to the overworld for a bit is I will try and make an automated farm for this. And just, uh... I found a bunch of different redstone clocks and what have you. That I can try. I need multiple hoes, that's what I need. Because that's a lot of leaves to knock out. I'll get a shovel for good measure. And make some more torches. Shutting myself in. Ah, for God's sake. Not in my nylium. Go away. What did I just say? Honestly. I need to build a wall, and the ghasts are going to pay for it. But not in the way that you might anticipate. I'm just going to kill every one that I find. Okay. See what you're saying in the chat. I'm just trying to join in. Uh, right. Um, so my thoughts on this, this was originally one of my ideas of making a farm, and it was just, hey, I could do... That's not the right pickaxe. That's not the right pickaxe. Right. Do this. Get loads of vines. It technically works, but uh, words. Uh, all right. It's quite a slow process, but it was meant to be like the um, kelp farms. So you can just see the stubs left. Of the uh, what's it called the vines. It's not breaking the entire vine because that would be foolish, like a took. And I ain't no took. Oops, wrong button. Not even sure how I pressed E then, but okay. So, I'll have to have a look into, in fact, I know Wattles has, was it? yeah, it was Wattles, has a farm for these trees. It's actually quite nice. I will have to uh, remind myself what it looks like and then make a more aesthetically pleasing for me copy. 
because getting up to the top of the trees is difficult. And his farm has a... At least the standard height trees has an option built in for that. But obviously some of the trees are significantly taller, like, well, those two. So, yeah. Uh, progress and such. Can't wait until I get that mending neverite hoe. Then I'll be unstoppable. Yeah, I think a neverite pickaxe is probably the sensible first option. both trees simultaneously and hopefully it's not taking me too long that things are going to start despawning on the ground oh yep crops are starting to grow excellent Indeed, learning. It's fun, but like actually fun. So I need three more grass again. Get rid of all of those. Get rid of those. Hang on to those. Make all of this into roof because I need roof for the other one as well if I get extra. Yeah, that one's gonna wait a bit before I cut it down. Uh, Evening, Skog. Hello. I'm what on my main it? channel. Say what you will. Within reason. What I will. Within reason. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, are you streaming? I am streaming Minecraft. I'm currently in the Never, messing with all the new update stuff, and being very depressed at my own lack of uh, brain capacity. So what I've done brilliantly is just like ah, like all these new like mushroom leaf blocks, they're just trash, right? There's nothing you can do with them. Can't even compost them, right? Put one on a compost bin when I've got like six stacks of them, and then be like, oh, you you can oh. compost them. Right. Well, time to commit seppuku. <laughs> so I'm guessing you just threw away a lot of material so far. No, no, I just had this massive stockpile of stuff that I thought was useless. Ah, uh, well, that's a good thing then. Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing. It's just, it took me a distressingly long time to realize. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Right, I've got I six have... empty buckets. I have just finished uh, doing a short workout of the uh, of the home gym we have set up. I finally actually bothered. Oh, good. Now, one one round of workout is better than no rounds of workout. Oh, yeah. Because God, God damn that bagel wants to come back. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. Don't know if this is official, but someone posted a screenshot of uh, Far Cry 6. Looks like Oh, literally just a uh, screenshot of uh, what looks like the cover. Huh. It's, uh... They seem like they're kind of running out of ideas for that game, not gonna lie. Triple A company is running out of ideas? No. I mean, I guess they've slowed down making them recently, because I know there was a thing at one point where it was the yearly games, and it was just... Oh, God. They were, yeah. they were. Get, like, I'm not someone who plays a lot of games. I play one game a lot. That's sort of my yes. thing. But even then, I'm just like, guys, like, if you want to 
put out something new each year, just put make like DLC or something. Don't just keep making the same game just with different like wallpaper. Haha, <laughs> but uh games as a service going. You gotta Yeah, but if you, you gotta games as a service, just make a DLC each year for the game. Uh, you know, make a actual I, worthwhile I, DLC uh, and that'll be better than half the crap that comes out it seems. Oh yeah, no, I hundred percent agree. It's just that it's corporations equal gay. It's business. It's games as a business, yes. not games as a yes. you know fun. Yeah, it's uh, I. God, <laughs> that, my 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 thesis was supposed to be about uh, doing like games as a service and how that is. It just ended out. Like me failing at that and just turning into a general game uh, industry history, but oh god, I I hate games as a service. It's just so, it's so just money, 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 money. Cause that's the thing. It's there. There was this old. T there was this time in the past, right, where people would do this thing where they would make games and then they would sell it and then they make a new game. But that's not really been a thing for a while, so what a lot of companies that I like now do is they make a game, and then they keep making that game, and then because they keep making it better, it attracts more people. I think, I think so you one get, of like, the things... Factorio, one which things... I've had for like six oh, yeah. years, and they're still making it better consistently. Yeah, all of the, uh, like, innovation, like... The, the thing is, we grew up in the, like, most innovative time of video games. Like, it was goddamn, uh, like, I four think TS N64 games. I think N64 was about my first console. I would have been around, but I wasn't... Like, people I, I knew had it, but I didn't have it sort of thing. So I'm not oh, as yeah. familiar, but I got a PlayStation 2 and my sister got a GameCube. Yeah, my uh, my first console or game system was one of those controllers that had NES games on it, <laughs> and that was when I was like fucking like five or six or like young as fuck. Uh, but uh, then like the PlayStation One, and then uh, but uh, I think the first game I remember was some old ass like uh, Incredible Hulk game. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. I can also remember when you could buy a new game, like, you could buy a games console, and it was not that expensive. Ha! <laughs> like, Stop I can remember, parents. like, getting a PlayStation, and it was, like, 120 quid or something like that. And, you know, yeah. that's not cheap, but it's not fucking modern pricing for them things. Yeah, it's, I, so, recently I've been, like, uh, you know, upgrading my PC, and I was like, all right, I'll just look at what the price is for the next PlayStation Coup or whatever, and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll uh, look at that. All right, so far I've spent less money, uh, and I've got a new processor, a new motherboard, uh, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and an SSD uh, terabyte hard drive, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough with that, you know, it'll yeah. take me a little while more to uh, upgrade my graphics card again, but, you know, that was the one thing I have upgraded, and I also need to upgrade, like, uh, like power, uh, power unit for it, but, you know, we all know how fucking hard it is to get a fucking power source nowadays. Yeah. SFO. <laughs> fucking boomer. <laughs> oh, dear. But now it's just, uh, this thing. Like, I still have, at least ostensibly, and, me like, mechanically, I guess, hardware-wise, that's the word, the same computer I've always had. Yeah. Because it still works. You know, I've still got the same hard drive, I've got the same disk drive. Like, I did have the same hardware until last year when my keyboard started gimping out, and I got a new mouse at the same time just because, you know... If the keyboard's going, the mouse is probably on its way as well. Yeah. I, I used to have uh, one of those gamer uh, keyboards. Gamer. But then I spilled a pint of Robinson's orange juice onto it and it stopped working. Yeah. So I was like, oh well, I guess I'll just go grab that uh, Dell computer uh, 
Dell computer keyboard that goes real nice. <laughs> and now I also because uh, because I got a projector, I have the Bluetooth keyboard that I can walk around my room with the trackpad. That's very nice. It's like, oh, my entire wall is a screen. Although, since I've been back at my uh, parents' gaff, I'm, I have it set up on a shelf that it's like perfectly able to be put onto the wall. It's just I don't want to use it. Because <laughs> I uh, just haven't bothered. Yeah, so for anyone in the chat who's curious, soul torches are crap. Uh, what, what are soul torches like then? Soul torches are very faint blue light. I will go and stand next to one. Uh, That'd be cool for maybe. Uh, they're nice for aesthetic. like aesthetic. The aesthetic. They're not actually yeah. lighting. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, this way, they are a lighting level of seven. How about aesthetics for the. Uh, not. The, I'm, I'm thinking of the Grand Hall again, mm -hmm. whenever the fuck that happens again. Uh, maybe. This time I really want to have like the roof of it completely black and pitch black. We'll need to make uh, it a bit taller then. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be from like what? What did we have at like what? Uh, it 12, was thirty-three like, blocks high. Yeah, yeah. So like, let's just make it forty high or whatever. And uh, yeah, and uh, pretty much like halfway up it have like the soul. Uh, thing, uh, sword torch lighting. Yeah. Uh, that could work. Um, one thing I want to do is have a separate storeroom, but have the thing go all the way down to the ground, and, like have it with like just like a layer above bedrock. Ah, uh, yes. Just because the uh, the basement storeroom was nice, but it didn't really work as intended. Yeah, the storeroom. I guess uh, if we pick a mountain, uh, the storeroom could be in a mountain. Yeah, I just have a, just have a room. Of cobblestone. Just need like something. a room or something sticking out one side. Yeah, the the problem with having rooms is that when you want unless, to expand, yeah, yeah, if we could build them into like major. Like, Major like size pillars, you know. Yeah, because putting it under the floor or, worked yeah. a bit, but then you had the problem of if you want to expand anything else, then yeah. you have to worry about the floor. Oh, yeah. to be fair, digging at that height is actually better because then it means that the initial dig can get all the diamonds. So I guess having the underfloor space is good, but maybe have multiple underfloor spaces with like boat tunnels and stuff if it gets big enough maybe like if we're having an underfloor thing have it like really not much space maybe like three blocks high yeah because the thing is i tried to make it vaulted the problem is the vaults were so small that it was just cramped yeah. i think having to make it on a bigger scale for the other yeah, city Maybe just keep it uh, like functional underground, and all the aesthetics can be overground on the mountain. Yeah, I mean, um, well, if you've seen any of the new blocks, the uh, my plans for Varangia include them. I so there's, uh, Blackstone is the is the main one, which is like a sort of like dark grey, almost like it's it's like a dark grey. It's not like concrete black. So it's like the very edge of the furnace, if that's more of a sort of thing. Or to be fair, if you look at the stream, you can just, you know, see it. But, what is uh, your channel again? Or it's just Don Musk channel. channel. Um, I'll grab the link. E. Uh, I'm going to play some Ace Combat 7. Understandable. It is in the Harassment channel. Ash has just put it there. Well, Ash put it there like two hours ago. Um, also, hello, Crispo, if I've not already said hello. Let's have a look, see. Mute this stream so I don't hear my own stupid ass voice. Ooh, that's a stick. Hey, that's that's actually good. They actually did something with the netter. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. So the, uh, the black I stone... I'd think would look quite nice for uh, the fancy bits of Varangia. Yeah, uh, I 
which is blackstone the parts on the uh the uprights on the pillars oh, yeah. yeah 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 no the, those those definitely look good for like uh pillars possibly oh yeah no that that'd be perfect for pillars i think well, actually, well, what I use in the the uh, the overtown. What I actually want to use for the uh, the underground though would be, um, what's it called? Um, sorry, I made a big hole in the ground. Now I'm trying not to fall into it. Um, the basalt. Basalt is. Let me just go inside. Those beams. Uh, the the stream is a bit behind. So. Yeah. I'm watching on my end. Uh, it should be there now. Oh, those, yeah, those look good. For which, uh, for which uh, element? Uh, I was think? thinking for yeah, maybe the uh, main pillars, because you can make a generator for basalt. Ah, right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, mm, yeah. It's an option. I, I, yeah, once they're all together, and like it's an aesthetic that's like settled uh, in a wide area. And pretty much any block would look good, I think. But yeah, oh. no. Um, what was I gonna do? So I'm trying to do building in this area. I have a bunch of lava buckets again. So what I'm gonna do is. I was, I was wondering why I saw a image of uh, that's. Oh god. Uh, of. Oh god. I th I think someone made a waffle house in uh, the Nether. Hmm. Yeah. Out of the honeycomb blocks, or I don't know. It's just I don't you know, you know that brand of restaurant Waffle House. Yeah, yeah, that 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 one. Okay. So I thought you meant like a house like made of waffles. I'm being no. slow. Hopefully this will not go badly. Let's find out. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, you can break into lava and then burn up. Uh... Ah. Yeah, but you can run away. Just don't dig up or sideways down. So I'm doing well, a thing I, of I I'm just in... imagine what the forbidden pickaxe would be like in the nether. Uh, it would be filthy. Um I do plan to um have you you're on short sure Fatataki server still, aren't you? Yes. Have a look well, at the Minecraft um chat there. Someone has made a Obnoxiously nice Never Portal. Um, I don't know who it was. I don't. I think it's one that's an image that's been found rather than somebody who's actually done it themselves. But it's uh, for the benefit of the chat who can't go and look at it potentially. Um, it is a sword, somewhat kind of Damoclesian, uh, that sticks um, into the ground in the overworld and then out of the Never roof in the uh, Never. And it's a very Ooh. strong aesthetic. Ooh, that is, that is, yeah, yes, that is. I, I appreciate that. That's surprisingly well done. Yeah, I, I like. I like how it just it comes down into the nether as well. That that's that is. Yes, I appreciate this on like an aesthetic level. Yes. So, so far, I have not found. I think after this stream, I'm going to have to just grind through librarians until I get a uh, mending one, because then I'm going to have to work out a way of getting an XP farm on here. <laughs> oh, yeah, a new half in the bag from uh, Red Letter Media. Nice. Oh. Is it what's it on, or is it just a uh, general? Uh, just two new movies. Uh, Vast of Night, and what the how do you uh, what's that even say? And some horror-looking movie with some chick in the war that looks like all blood. I don't know. Hmm. One of them, there spooky movies. I've been listening to the audiobook of the four uh, of the first uh, uh, Kaifus Kane, forty uh, K novel. Nice. Uh, it's more uh, more of a uh, 
comedic take of a commissar in 40k who was a fucking coward, but uh, is also uh, seen as an imperial hero. Oh, yeah. so the, <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty fucking good. By unintentionally being in the right place at the right time kind of things, I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, just like, the part that I just uh, stopped at was uh, he uh, peeled off from his uh, regiment that uh, were going to take out some heretics to go uh, talk with some PDF to be like, all right, boys, you can, uh, uh, what, what's the situation here? How, how, like, give him a bit more morale. And then he saved the Inquisitor. <laughs> Uh, in a burning building in his uh, chimera, <laughs> with his uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good. Highly recommend. Literally, like the vast majority of the like forty or so audiobooks I have on Audible are all forty k. Decent. So there does not appear to be any more in here. I've looked in that room. I know there was already some in that chunk. So, the question is, chat, do you want me to bore you more or less before I end the stream? Because you got ten minutes. I'll try and get some stuff prepped for doing more exciting things next time. <gasps> no. That's lava. Yeah, and when you pick up the item and it throws it forwards. Yep. Yeah. Rip lava bucket. Oh, there's ores in uh, the nether now. The what? Uh, in the wall. The ore. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of uh, nether gold. But if you mine it, the piglins um, will hunt you down and kill you. Alright. That'd be a fun way of uh no. Yeah. It's it's nice that they're adding tiny little elements like that, like almost fractional. Yeah, I'd say yeah. you can trade to them as well if you've got gold, but the problem is getting gold in the never is uh risky. Um however what I want to do sometime is in fact that was one of the first things I was meant to do. So I'm, I know what I'm going to do for the rest of the stream chat. I'm going to make a gold farm. Well, I'm going to dab off this stream and just uh, play some... I understand. Play some I'll stay in the chat, though. Yeah, that's fair enough. I, I have... Uh, the, the whole thing of... Uh, like, video games nowadays of... The, the AAA companies are always making the same games. I've been finding myself over the last like, year or so just being like, alright, what can I play that isn't just a fucking piss poor FPS bullshit game? And I've been playing tons of Mordhau, <laughs> and now I'm uh, going through Ace Combat, which is a uh, Jet Fighter game. Which I, I remember back on 360, I played. Uh, Ace Combat 5, I think it was, and this is currently Ace Combat 7. There was one called Ace Combat, uh, Combat Horizon, I think it was. I don't fucking remember. It was shit. It was just goddamn terrible. Was that like a rail shooter type thing, or...? No, it was just... It, uh, normally, the Ace Combat games are based in uh, Strange World, which is pretty much fictional countries and, like, Crazy, like over the top uh, super weapons and shit like that. But in Combat Horizon or whatever the fuck it was called, uh, it's uh, <laughs> it was based in like real life uh, world. So there was like, oh, oh, you bought this uh, playing game here, have an AC one thirty mission <laughs> that added where if you miss a single shot your allies will be killed, and then you have to start the mission all fucking over again. That sounds like not fun. Yeah, it, it kind of took away the element that I've been finding that is 
the fun that is jank. I fucking love janky games. <laughs> Good janky games. You know? Like EDF or, uh... Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, I guess the people in... Uh, that like Stalker. That, that kind of... You know, just... Something that isn't, like, super overly designed and, like, super overly done and, like... Like, lower quality things have their, like, uh... The game that's bootleg but works. And it's, like... Yeah. It's, like, wholesome I don't fun. know why, but I finished that one game, uh... Mercenaries 2 World in Flames for the Xbox 360, like, fucking ten times. Just because I could go through that game in, like, maybe a week. Sounds good. And... Oh. I'm back. No worry. Dab. Dab on the pig, man. Dab on the pig, man. No. I'm being dabbed on by the pigment. <laughs> right, this is a very bootleg, functional gold farm. I could probably do something similar to this, but with the piglins, by just taking off my gold boots. Which reminds me... Oh, my hat broke. Ooh. I need a new hat. Looks as if I need bold air and ground superiority weapons this time. Where is that? All of the nearby things. I think it is. So, that little bit of excitement has yielded me uh, seven gold nuggets, two gold swords. That's actually not as good as I was hoping. But. You know, free material. And I've got a little bunker that I can just retreat to at any time and go hunting. As I've now got 35, so I'm getting there. I could get, uh, what, nearly four gold bars, trade with some piglins. And of course, I've always got, uh, what's it called? Um, rotten flesh that I can sell to a cleric. Watcher printing. If you are printing. I am not printing. Uh, it, it is the sound of my computer. And I'll just move my mic away from it. Ah, no worries. I was going to say, it sounds like you're a bit close to the bed. Uh, no, uh, I'm... One annoying thing about my printer is you can hear it in the kitchen. Ah. <laughs> Mine is the... not that bad. Uh, the kitchen, well, the kitchen is, like, directly below uh, the counter that I have uh, ah. is on my room, so... If you get some of the, um... Uh, I'm trying to think... You know, like, draw foam, the, like, grip tape stuff you oh, can get? Yeah. If you put some of that down underneath it, it really deadens the sound. Good to know. Because that's what I've did to my old one, because my old one was really, like, it was a really heavy, clunky one. So it always sounded like it was straining to do anything at all. It's just it basically just kind of sort of growling away yeah. like it was an injured lion or something. Right then, so I know I need gold to do the uh, trading, not the trading, the making of the stuff later, but... Gold! Some quartz, thank you. Gold! Ooh, God, nice. you can change parts on your fucking airplane in this. Oh, ah, cool. 
gold. I, I, I've never played multiplayer in one of these games because I know I just go up against dudes with like flight sticks. <laughs> and I'm tempted to buy a flight stick, you know, just one of those super shitty cheap ones. Mm. That sounds nice. that sounds like what I asked. So I just got 30 iron ingots and some leather. Nice. Yeah. Let's trade with these guys more. Oh, so I do I get... Charges, so. Yeah, I'm going to get the one rocket that can kill, like... How, mu how many is that? Like, eight dudes at once? Yeah, sure, why not? Right. So those lanterns, they look really bright, don't they? And the truth right. is that they're not. It's because they're surrounded by light. Uh, I'm, oh, Dom is apparently very loud. It's not on my end, but then again, the game's quite quiet, so... Uh, I'll turn you down for the benefit of the stream, and I'll just have to try and listen. Well, I'm glad everyone loves the sound of my voice. Okay, you're not that much different when I turn you down, so... Hmm. Oh, well. But yeah, well, I hope that was something resembling fun for people, and uh, yeah... We're just approaching the three hour mark, so unless anyone has anything else they want me to try and do before I go, I'll uh, see you potentially tomorrow. Uh, death to pigs. But like, literally pigs. Yes. And not BLM or Antifa. Or the Seattle Council. Or the Minnesota Council. That's a lot of pigs. Ooh, lad. Well, I think... Uh, I think that's a good way of ending this. Um, smells like bacon in here. This is about looting. I should get a looting sword. I could make a pig person trading farm, but I'd need some name tags. Well, that's not too difficult to do, but I'll see what I can do. I I have done and I've done never stuff now. You saw that what this was like at the beginning of the stream, and it's gone much better. So yeah, hope you've all enjoyed watching, and I'll see you tomorrow, possibly. <laughs>